Hello, Adam here. I'm excited to be back for 2024. Here's the first painting of the year and many more are gonna follow. Not only do I have a lot of paintings planned, but I've got a brush line that's coming out within the first quarter of this year and I'm very happy to be able to offer those to the public when the time comes. So I'm just all around very excited about this year and I hope you are too. It's gonna be a fantastic year. Let's get to the painting. I've already got my 16 by 20 canvas covered in a thin coat of liquid white. If you want to see how I do that, I've got a video just for that. Okay, I'll pick up my two inch brush and I'll just go right into some yellow. Just a little bit of yellow, don't need much. This is the same brush I used to put on the liquid white. And just right up here near the center. Just put in a little yellow glow. Just going back and forth. Nothing special about this. Back and forth, little yellow glow to the edges for the most part, but it can be a little lighter towards the edges. Okay. And I'll come right up here and get a little crimson. Don't need much. Crimson is a very strong color. And the same thing. Right here at the top. Just going back and forth putting this in. Not thinking about it too much. Bring it down and let it meet the yellow. Streaks stay in this sky, that's fine. It's gonna look really good. Okay. And let me just kind of wipe that out just a little. Got some paper towels sitting right down here just for that. All right. And let me come back and blend a little more. Just a soft touch. Get most of the harsh strokes out, but again, if some remain in there, it's going to look really good. All right, I'm going to reach over and grab my one inch brush and we'll just tap a little brown and a little bit of crimson. Let me put a little blue in there. There we go. We'll just kind of make a light background tree color. All right, let's let's see what that looks like. I'll come right over here. There we go. And as I tap, it gets lighter and lighter. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Let me just vary the shapes a little. And if you notice, I'm kind of tapping over these a couple times. Really soften them up. When they're soft, that indicates it's in the distance. And that's what I'm doing here. Bring it down a little right here. Okay. And maybe back up over on this side a little. Very soft. I really like the way this has turned out so far. Softer the better. All right, I'm going to pick up a liner brush and just start to roll it through a little bit of dark color. Okay, just roll it to a good point. And I'm going to come up here and put some trunks in these trees. Now I like to, I like to go up with it. I feel like I have much more control when I do. And get a little more paint here. Hopefully you can see that a little. We don't need too much really. Just just a few little trunks. Don't have to be all that particular about how they're organized. Some of them will get covered up. We're gonna go back and kind of put some ice over these trees a little bit, but but just a few trunks just to help indicate these are faraway trees. That's all we're doing. Okay, don't need much more than that right there. I'm going to go back to that one inch brush and just very lightly hit over a couple spots that I thought it was a little too dark. Just blend it in a little. These are far away trees, so you don't want the trunk standing out too much. So I'll just push them back into the painting a little. 
Okay, and I'm going to take a oval brush now. And let's get a little bit of white. And a little bit of blue. I have to get a little bit more white. Yeah, something about like that's what I'm looking for. We'll just come up here and just gently. Don't want to overdo this right here. We're just putting a little blue sparkle. Just to indicate that this is winter. These trees are frosted over. Snowed over. But don't want to overdo it. A little is all we really need here. Just sparkle them up. Okay. I'm going to go back to my two inch brush. I haven't cleaned it or nothing. I'm just going to go right into the titanium white. Just load quite a bit on the brush. All the color that mixes in, to me, that looks really good. And I'm just going to come up here and just start to drag in a little bit of a snowy wood line here. All right. In general, it's going, it's sloping down from right to left. We'll cover some of that yellow, but some of it will stay there. It's reflected from the sky. we go and even though you can't see much of this I'm gonna put this all down through here just because it'll come into play later as I'm doing this painting again it's going to generally slope from right to left downward I'm gonna grab my palette knife it's gonna mix up a dark color so I got some black and some brown. I'm going to put red, a little bit of blue, and since this is for evergreens, I'm going to put a little bit of sap green in there, but I don't want to overdo the green for this painting. A wintertime scene, it's, even though they're evergreens, there's not going to be a lot of green. So just a nice dark color, not too much green. I'm going to grab my larger fan brush. This is my number six. Just load it full. There we go. And right up here, we'll lay in our first tree. About right here. And I'll just touch where I want it to be. Just kind of bring it down to somewhere close near where it's going to stop. And keeping the brush full of paint, I'll just tap lightly. Now for this one, I'm going to do a little bit of an upward push, so the branches kind of go upward. But I'm going to keep it kind of tight. Alright, I want this tree to look really dark. So if I don't spread it out too much, the paint will stay in tight, and the tree will look darker. There we go. We'll just bring it down to about right there. I'll reload my brush, and... Let's do another tree right over here. Same procedure, right here. We'll make this one a little taller. Bring it down to about right there. Make sure I got plenty of paint. I just tap the corner there. A little upward push. Keeping the branches kind of close into the trunk. Sometimes it helps to give them a little point. I'm going to grab my two inch brush and I'm just going to pull out a little bit of this paint just to kind of set them on a hill. Just a little, don't need too much. See, so yeah, that puts another little plane in the painting. But we don't want to overdo the shadow, just a little. A little goes a long way with it. 
All right, I'm gonna keep in mind that I've got kind of a downhill slope going from right to left. And I'll come back with my one inch brush and just touch a little bit of that dark paint right there. I'm gonna put a, just a couple bushes in here. Just right here on the edge. That slope. Take my liner brush and let's see, let's put just a little bit of a old tree right there. Don't need too much. Give it a few branches. And we go back to my oval brush. Let's put a couple bushes down here. Icy bushes. That's all we're doing. Looks good in the painting. And maybe even there's a few leaves on this old tree that's just kind of iced over. I can go back and pull this out a little bit. There we go. Blending it in. That's all we're doing. All right, I'll set that down. Let's go to the other side and make one more big tree. Same procedure. We'll come way up here. It's gonna line down to where I think I want it to stop. Make sure I got plenty of paint. And we'll just touch gently. Okay, I'm keeping it kind of tight. See how it keeps that tree nice and dark. Nice and dark. As I get to the bottom, I'm gonna flip the brush over. That way, you know, the bottom of the tree stays pretty dark. There we go. Let me come back up here and Kind of fix the top of that just a little. All I gotta do is just kind of touch it. There we go. Just kind of fuzzed it out. To me, that made it look better. All right, I want to take a clean fan brush now and get into a little bit of liquid white and into that blue color. Now let's do this. Let's come back and let's just put just a little bit of blue highlight. I don't want to overdo this, but same thing, same principle. Make these trees just a little snowy. Okay. Put a little bit over here too. It's just a little bit. Actually, let me get a little bit more liquid white. Help it stick a little. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. It just kind of sparkles them up a little bit. A little bit of a blue highlight. Okay. Good. And I tell you what, I'm going to go back to my dark brush. I'm going to make this tree just a little bit, a little bit taller. Bring them down. Somewhere into there. I think I like that better on that tree. Go back to my, my big two inch brush and we'll pull out a little bit of color here. I know you've seen the, the thumbnail, so I know that you know there's a there's a cabin here, but I like to do the procedures anyways most of the time. It's good practice. And for me, I have fun doing it. So why not? There we go. You see, just built a, another plane. Set that tree right on that little hill. Easy as can be. Okay, I'm gonna grab my palette knife. We'll get to making this cabin. And for that, let's see. Right about here. All right, I'm just gonna pull out a little bit of a roof line. There we go. 
And all I'm doing is scraping the paint out. Now I will tell you that for today, I'm not too worried about right over here because I'm gonna have some bushes covering that. All right. See that angle would be somewhere right in there. That's where that eave would be. Let's get the rest of that paint out of there. Okay. I think that'll make a decent little cabin. I really like this because I can really see it and I can change it if I need to. And I can just tell if it's going to work or not and that that's going to work. Okay. I'm going to start with that back eave. We get a little bit of black. So it's super dark back there. And I'm just going to touch right here at the bottom. I'm going to bring it over straight. All right, I want that part right there to be horizontal. That's what helps make the eave look right. Okay. All right, get some brown through this back wall. And I'll get some brown and a little bit of white right here. Mix that up for the front wall. And of course we don't mix that too much. And the front wall, and again, no matter the angle, I just go down. So you can, you can touch it with an angle like this, but just bring it down, straight. Hard to do sometimes. That's one of those things that take practice. That's for sure. Straighten this edge up right here just a little bit. It's almost where I need it, but just kind of straighten it. And I can come back through with a little bit of white and scrape some board lines in here. Same thing on this side. And let's see, we'll go for the door. Let's get a little black here and, oh, where's that door need to be? Right there, I think, something like that. All right, kind of scrape it in there and then refine it a little. Okay, got a little white on me over here, so I just, I just push it back over. That's all. But it's an old cabin in the woods. It, it really don't have to be all that perfect. Okay, I think we need to get a roof on it. Let's see. Pull some of that out flat. And I'll start back here. Just take my time. Not in any kind of hurry at all. Now if you notice, the roof kind of goes up. Upward angle to the point. I think that looks good. That was something I always saw Bill Alexander do, if you ever watched him. Awesome painter. Might be my favorite. Okay, but see, I tried to get that old dark paint out of there. Some of it stayed in there. That's fine. We'll just take our time and get this roof down the way we want it. No big deal. And you can have a little bit of color in there. You know, the snow melts and refreezes and things like that. Kind of straighten that up a little bit. All right. And also need just a little bit over here. Don't need too much. Just a, just a little line there. And maybe I'll come back and work on that 
roof a little bit more later but for now I've got it about where I want it I can deal with that and move on with the rest of the painting and like I said come back and touch it up a little bit more later and let's see right here let's do this let's just take that and kind of put a little snow bank in front of it there we go let that come out right there All right, let's do this. Let me take my one inch brush and get a little bit of this old color in here. And right about here, let's, let's pop up a few weeds. And see how easy that is? You, just, you take the brush, you touch, you let it bend, and all those bristles as they come up, they just kind of make a grassy little area. Pretty neat. All right, and again. I'm going to pull out the bottoms. Pull out the bottoms. Put a little shadow. Set them on a little hill. There we go. And even though the shadow's kind of coming, you know, from this way, I still kind of go back. We can see that we got a a downward, a downward hill from right to left. I'm going to go back and grab my liner brush and roll it right through some dark. Don't really matter, just some kind of dark. And you know, right here, just stick up a little tree. Kind of wiggle it up. All right, no big deal. And Go back to our oval brush that we was putting the highlight, the snow highlight, and we'll put some more here. We'll just tap here at the tops. A little bit of highlight on these bushes. There we go. Snowy like everything else right there. Go back to my palette knife and run it through a little bit of a little bit of white and see if I can just kind of highlight this in spots. Just putting a little snow in there and some of the creases and stuff. So, you know, snow might build up kind of right there. Different places. And where it's dark right here, kind of give it a little highlight. We don't need too much. You can tell that's a little little winter tree right there. I'm going to take my fan brush, the one I was using for the highlight, and get me a little bit of liquid white. Just to thin that a little bit. A little bit more blue. Okay. And right here, we'll put a little path. I like these paths. Anything that can get me a forward direction for some perspective, I think it looks... Really cool, right there. Okay, and just kind of go over it and blend it in a little. That's all, just blending it. But mostly just a, a blue path right there. Okay. Just work it till I'm satisfied. Good. Before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and pull out some white here. Let me go back to that roof for just a second. So you can always come back to it. No big deal. Let me just try to whiten it up a little bit. Really not wanting to stick on that part right there, but we're going to make it stick. There we go. That looks a little better. And it can be on there in layers, that's fine. Snow melts and refreezes and that happens. And I'll just come right here and straighten this out a little bit. 
Okay. And I think I like that a little better than before. I'm going to grab my one inch brush and come into some dark color. And just tap. Tap it into the palette. And that seems to give me the look that I want. And right here, I'm going to put some bushes. They're going to kind of cover that a little bit. I'm not going to go too far just yet. But right in there, and then I'll go back to my oval brush, get a little bit of liquid white. Little icy color. And just right here, just touch gently. Little iced over bush right here at that cabin. Okay. And go back to my two inch brush and blend out the bottom. Pull out the shadows. There we go. All right, I'm going to pick up my filbert brush and we'll come through some black paint. Let's come right up here. Let's make a big old tree. About sitting right here. Give them a little, little bend over that way. I think that looks good. All right. Make them a little wider here at the bottom. And we'll give them a little branch that runs off that way. Just kind of take a look at it. And see if I like the general shape. And once I do, I'm going to pick up a liner brush. And continue to work it a little bit. You know, this is the dark side over here. So I try to make that darker. That's the shadow side under here. All right, and you just pull out a few branches. That's all. I'm going to pull out a branch right here that comes around that way, right in front of that tree. Okay, and we're going to say that this branch or this trunk right here went up and somewhere up in here, the branch hanging down, but we know it's from that tree. You just put a few more branches on here, just as you want to. Not a big deal. Okay. Whatever you want to do with it. And I'll go back with my palette knife and get a little bit of white. and Just on this side over here. Put a little bit of a highlight or snow or what have you there. Set a little bit down in here. Right in there where it might build up a little bit as the snow falls. Same thing right here, just kind of builds up over that branch right there. And then I just kind of go back and, and just kind of beat it up, really. It's kind of my technique. Just kind of beat it up a little. And it seems to make it look like bark and maybe gives it a little bit of a rounded appearance. You know, because we've got the light on one side and the dark on the other side. We'll take and put a little bit of vegetation here at the bottom of this tree too. Might be a stick coming out here. A couple spots growing out. And we'll put some highlights down here. Now 
And up here there might be just a little bit old leaves hanging on right at the ends of those branches. Not too much though. Almost, almost not noticeable. Just a little. Go back to our large two inch brush. I'm going to get some pretty clean white. Some pretty clean white. I'm going to make this obviously whiter. Nice and bright right there in the front on that hill coming down. All right, let's do one more thing. I kind of like how that shadow pulled out there. Almost gave you a nice little guide. So we'll just make a fence. How about right here? We'll start to fence off right there. And this really helps with perspective in the, in the painting. All right, we'll keep them nice and close here. And as we come to us, Make them farther apart, taller, a little wider, right? Overall, just a little bit bigger as they come to us, okay? Again, that helps with perspective in the painting, gives it depth. I'll start back here again. I'm going to make sure my liner brush has a good point on it. Keep this pretty small here. All right. And as it comes to us, I'll let it get a little, little wider. Can you see that? So all I did was push a little harder as, it, as we got closer to us. Okay. But right in here, I start to push a little bit. Makes it look like those boards are getting whiter. Come back with my palette knife, just get a little bit of white, and just touch it here and there. Don't think I need to be overly concerned about the snow on these boards, but just put a little on there. I'm not even sure how much you can see that, but I'm just kind of touching there the top. If it hangs over the sides, that's fine too. All right. And I'm going to grab my, my two inch brush and just kind of put some snow over here. Just kind of blend out the bottom of these. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay, let me go back to my oval brush quick. I'm going to get a little bit of liquid white. Just kind of dab that right there. Brighten these up just a little bit, at least in spots. There we go. Don't that look good? A little bit brighter here in the front. Bring some more depth to those bushes. There we go. All right. And with that, we're going to call this painting complete. The first of many paintings of 2024. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give it a try. And remember, until next time, if I can paint, you can too. God bless you.